For people going through dialysis, sitting for hours can be grueling, but imagine sitting for hours in the summer without air conditioning. Well, that's what we discovered was going on at a dialysis center in Northeast Washington. So Seven on Your Side jumped into action and DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford went looking for answers. So Sam, tell us what happened. Well, Maureen Allison, as you say, you know, imagine that you have to sit in a, a chair still three to four hours at a time, uh, three days a week. But the dialysis patients at this DeVita Clinic in Northeast Washington say they have had to do it in an unair conditioned building. When we arrived this morning, dialysis patients streamed to us complaining about the heat inside as well as about their concerns, how it may impact their health. It's miserable to sit down in a chair for three and a half hours sweating and then that brings on the itching and you know because of dialysis and everything. It's miserable. It's too much blood for it to be that damn hot and I'm not trying to catch nothing. They would like give them a, 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 cold, a cool cloth to put on their head to try to cool them off. I mean even the text are very hot. They said it's gone on for weeks. The facility put out a flyer apologizing for the heat and put in a few space coolers, but it's not working. It's extremely hot back there. We learned one of the two cooling units has been out since May and the second can't do the job. We relayed patient complaints to DeVita Dialysis Corporate Headquarters in Denver. This afternoon, a corporate spokesman called us agreeing the facility is too hot, saying no more patients would be accepted today. Patients are being rerouted to other facilities, and it's bringing in an industrial-sized temporary cooling unit to cool the place to standards. After that announcement, a Metro Access bus came and left a patient anyway. And they'll rescheduled them. They'll come back and pick them up. But I have clients on board. I have to take them to that location. It was up to the DeVita staff to find facilities and transportation for patients to other clinics. The corporate spokesman said this one will remain closed until it is cooled to the standard of 72 degrees. And in the last half hour, we have seen lots of activity here with air conditioning contractors on the scene. The plan is to cool the place to those standards by tomorrow so that they can reopen this clinic, although a permanent fix is still weeks away. The DeVita company has some 2,000, the DeVita company has some 2,000 clinics around the country. Reporting live from Northeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.